Yeah, now we're back here with Tales of Symphonia. It is time to go do the Aska thing and the Palma Costa thing. Um, the ranch thing, that is. I, though, that said, I think I probably am inter more interested in doing the Aska thing first, to be honest here. Also, um, we still had a bit of money left over, and I think that plus the four thousand something hundred and something D7 actually does add up to the five thousand eight hundred we were we got from that sandworm thing. So just maybe maybe it hard capped us at donating five thousand to Lewin, which maybe means that's enough for some kind of milestone, and maybe it's back developed. For a minute, I thought that Ciella stole it when she was joking about stealing it, but um, I know you would never do that because we're best friends. And that's not what best friends do; they don't steal from each other. Oh yeah, well I mean that's fine. I didn't even know you saw that until just now. So we have money, but he is it true he won't let us? Oh, okay, now we can. Okay, weird. May as well just go give as much as we can when we can. Weird, it only let us. It wouldn't let us put that last little bit in, even though I'm pretty sure we had that from the sandworm. Eh, never mind. Why am I thinking about it now? At the moment, we don't have any weapons to buy in this uh, side of the world. I'm pretty confident, so we don't really need it for too much items here and there, I suppose. So that looks like a tree. Is that like a linkite tree? And could there be any other interesting treasure around this sort of peak peninsula type thing? And what about monsters? What kind of monsters we got around here? 50 uh, just some humans. Oh god. Opportunistic humans. I will just make us some, uh, this to restore our mana. 28%. There we go. That's good. At some point though, we should definitely should go back to the towns we've already been to in Silveron here and go around talking to all the NPCs, not just the ones we think we can <laughs> pry some money out of because, uh, if... if tree as any indication some of them will lead us to some very interesting devil's arms right i don't see too much special looking around here to the center we go to find this what i suppose is a linkite tree great and with that linkite nut do we have the capacity to meet aska here can we summon them ding it seems this is the linkite tree that professor nova's family talked about it's dead lloyd let's go back to professor nova and confirm the information we have yeah we've forgotten a lot of it already I wonder where he is right now. All we can do is gather information in the cities and search for him. Okay, let's go. I could have sworn I saw the caravan a little not too long ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't very good. Hold a damn second here. When we were exploring all around, I swear I saw it in the distance and was like, Oh, we'll go to that later or never. Isn't it like sort of permanently placed up here at the north side here in the Misty's Woods? No, is that the Lewin Ranch, maybe? This is like Yumashi. This is this, and wasn't the caravan, like, kind of close to here, sort of? I can picture it being sort of right around here. Very well, I mean, she said split to cities, it's it. Whoa, hey, wait a moment. Oh, no, this is the, the Tower of Thingamajig. Say, so, hey, now that we can fly here, are we allowed to just kind of go right up to this thing? Ooh, we are. What's What What would happen if we were to go look around? Ah, the bridge is busted, is it? Shucks. Oh my god, it's got a force field. Ugh. That said, we actually haven't really explored this kind of area, have we? for uh, treasure and stuff. I'll just have a brief look around here and then we'll go to some cities, uh, like she said, and then failing all that, I suppose we'll go to deal with the ranch. Oh yes, this is gateway over there. Oh, I don't actually have noise around here. You want to, what do you want to bet the Guidance Stone is over on that island there? Oh my god, there's another skit. Triple roundhouse. <laughs> oh, the karate sea stars. Karate is for sponges and squirrels. Just one more problem. What are you doing? Did you do your homework? Do we really have to do homework? I mean, come on. You haven't done it yet? Rain's gonna get mad. Hey, Janus. No, Rain would know if I did your homework. It'll be fine. I'll write it down myself. It won't work. I can't make the same crazy mistakes that you make. And you can be a real punk sometimes. <laughs> We're building our friendship, you see. Ooh, there's a treasure chest here too. My god, this is the island of riches. An all divide, sweet. Was probably solved. Is that another skit? Eh, there's no casino, no bars, and not even girls. I didn't realize how tough journeys were. What? The village I grew up in didn't have casinos or bars, but I still had a lot of fun. <laughs> Backcountry hick. Do you really think that kind of healthy lifestyle suits me? But you don't fool around as much as you claim you do. Excuse me? Well, if you really hated being on a journey and wanted to quit, you would have done it so already. Why'd you get all quiet? You're pretty sharp sometimes. I guess I should head back. What? Are you serious? <laughs> no, of course not. I've got reasons of my own to stay with you guys. Oh, I see. But it'd be lonely if someone left, even if it was you. Okay, now I'm really reconsidering my decision. What, because I got all heartfelt on you? Sucks. That's it's our it's kind of how Lloyd is. Deal with it. Skip times three. Or you know, bond building convo. Your sword techniques are self-taught, right? Yeah. 
Well, you could call it the Irving way of fighting. I'm amazed how strong you got all by yourself. What about you? Did you train? Yeah, everything is training when I'm in the village. Wait, while you're sleeping and eating too? Of course, can't let our guard down at any time. That's the fate of those who live in the shadows like us. But you let your guard down a lot, though. What? Well, you always fall into traps. It's like you're one to talk. I mean, he hasn't fallen into as many traps as you. I just... The odd one. Right, now it's trying to figure out uh, what nearby town they mean to the Linkite Tree. Unless they mean nearby town the last time we saw the, the Nova Caravan, which are like on opposite sides of the world. Those two things. God, this mountain part really reminds me of the... Um... Ah, uh, shoot. I don't remember the place's name, but... Is it called Starfall Canyon or something like that? Where Red 13 lives in Final Fantasy 5, 7. What is this? Oh, that's that Taima. Right, okay. May as well stop there. I, I don't know what if this is considered close to anything useful or important, but... It seems the Chosen went to the Tower of Salvation by Dragon, but never came back. Yeah, well, that's weird. It seems people are starting to gather in Luin, little by little. I wonder if that city will be rebuilt. Sure hope so. There's a rumor going around that the designs who terrorized the Pomacosta and Asgard regions have been destroyed. But ranches still remain. Can't relax yet. I kind of didn't want this to talk into a mission of roaming around uh, just speaking to all the NPCs, but if we're looking for Aska and hopefully some Devil's Arms too, I, I may end up doing that. Sorry if that's... if it's annoying to have two of those in a row, because that's sort of what we did last time in a way. The designs are looking for someone again. They just held a public execution at the plaza the other day. They did a who to what? The odd bit of dialogue is new, but um, a, a, number, a, a fair amount of it's the same. As... The times of old. So I'm just kind of cruising it around, speaking to everyone, seeing if there's anything in particular that is new or interesting. Or both. And design stopped coming to the city. Maybe it's because of you. I sure hope so. Well, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really matter if it was due to me. I hope that they stopped coming to the city anyway. Right, actually, um, the base was around here, and I didn't end up going in because I was like, what if it's important? But now that we know that we probably want us to go to the Palma Costa Ranch, I'm interested to see what will happen if we go to the base. Probably nothing. They'll probably just be like, there's no reason to be here now. This is the place I was held captive before. It's dangerous. Let's get out of here. I mean, we're like 16 times the level we were before, but if you don't want to. Actually, let me just see what quest things are, are labeled as active right now. So the Shadow Temple and the Monolinx, which is involves Asuka and the Shadow Temple. The Shining Bird, which is Asuka. And then back again. Um, this is us going to the, the ranch, right? Okay. They may just be that we have to go to the ranch in the end and that this Aska thing will have to wait a bit. Lloyd says we forgot everything that the that um, the Nova Caravan told us, but I remember a little bit. I remember it's, it grows on high trees and you have to, the, the tree has to be alive and then the wind blows through the nuts and it makes a thing or something. See all the nose? I know. I know the all the nose. God, this caravan really isn't anywhere. Oh, hey. Did we ever find this? Oh, we must have. Right, well, let's just go to the Pomacosta Ranch and start messing about. See what we can find in the ruins and who is skulking about. Bota. So that's it. Neo and the others couldn't tell the difference between right, the Zions and the Renegades. Neither could we until we knew there was such a We've difference. Waiting for you. Is that right? Are you saying you were expecting us to come here? Why? <laughs> Does it really matter? We have more important things to discuss, such as joining forces. Yeah, I was super open to the idea until you kidnapped us and then tried to kill us like three different times. You know how hard that you and fight was? Somewhat. Actually, expect us to trust you after all you've done to Lloyd and Colette. Thank you, Rain. The circumstances have changed. Whack! Oh, he's here. Ewan. Do you know of the giant Carlon tree? The legendary giant tree is said to have existed in the holy ground of Carlon, right? This is whatever that junk was about the seed of the future it's or whatever. The tree of life, which produces infinite mana. Isn't that just a fairy tale? I mean, Colette. <laughs> Let's be serious here. Everything we've seen Carlon looks like a fairy tale. Exhausted its mana supply and the tree wilted away. And now all that remains is its seed left in the holy ground of My phone needs to bugger off. Putting on a different table so that the rumbling will be less audible on the mic. The seed of the giant tree is in the final seal? It is known as the Great Seed. Are you talking about the soul of Mythos? Mm -hmm. Now that is a fairy tale. The Great Seed. The source of the world's mana is the seed of the giant tree. How do you know it's not Mithas' soul? How long have, have you been around? Vital in order to reunite the two worlds. Reunite the two worlds? I believe I told you before, Yggdrasil is the creator of the two worlds. Originally, the world was one, but Yggdrasil ripped it asunder. I don't know that you gave us that bit of detail before, how but we did... Even possible for someone to split the world apart? Well, how is it even possible for someone to create the world? It was possible for Yggdrasil, but 
two worlds have managed to survive by vying for the small amount of mana seeping from the great sea. Mm -hmm. So that's why the cycle of flourishing and declining continues, and the chosen goes on the journey of reaching. Why would someone intentionally design the world that way? I don't see that helps with them ascending or whatever, unless their plan is to. Yggdrasil's plan is to, like, take the seed and make the tree and then be like, Look, there's all the infinite mana! I'm all powerful, you should worship me as a god! But if he created the world, you would think he would have an easier way to do it. Like, maybe he'll think he's god. The giant tree will be restored and the cycle will come to an end. But how do we resurrect the giant tree? The great seed is nearly dead. We must expose it to a large amount of mana in order to save it. Great, everyone scream and throw fireballs at it, right. There's no supply of mana like that to be found anywhere in the world. Crucius's base, Daris Carlon, is a comet made from a giant mass of mana. It lies suspended in the sky high above this land. All we have to do <laughs> is use that. So let me just <laughs> get this straight in my head. Your plan, people whom we are not sure that we're all the way aligned with, is to take a meteor and slam it into... The, the holy ground between both worlds. I'm not usually in favor of any plan that requires slamming a meteor into an inhabited place, broadly speaking. But I'll hear you out, maybe. If that's <laughs> true, why doesn't Eugrasiel revive the giant tree? All of Daris Carlon's mana is being given to Martell for the sake of resurrecting her. What? By using the power of a Crucius crystal, Martell's soul lives on, existing as a part of the Great Sea. Did they not say at some point that Martell isn't actually a thing and it was just a metaphor? Or am I Martell mixing awaits, things up? The Great Seed will be absorbed into her and disappear. The reverse also holds true. In order to prevent that from happening, Yukdrasi protects the Great Seed with a seed. What, well, Martell will be absorbed into the tree if, if it begins awakened? So that's why the Renegades are trying to stop Martell's revival. Yes. We will make the Great Seed germinate. As a result, Martell will be absorbed by the sea, right. and then the giant Carlon tree will be reborn. And there's enough mana for everyone, worlds don't fight anymore. If that happens, will the two worlds become one again? That I don't know. The only certainty is that the world will end if the seed is lost. Because there isn't enough power for everyone. You're going to have Miss Martell be a good little girl and disappear. Martell is already dead. If it weren't for Daris Carlin's mana, her soul would have disappeared a long time. Okay, so she was actually a real thing and stuff. Why is Yggdrasil so obsessed with Martell? That doesn't matter. What's important is that we see to it that the Great Sea <laughs> germinates. I mean, it might matter if it turns out that Yggdrasil knows some capability of hers that we don't. Up till now, the Great Seed has been protected by the summoned spirits of the declining world. The mana links. Correct. Now that the links have begun to unravel, the Great Seed's protection has weakened. Because we have been forming pacts with the summoned spirits of both worlds. So we should not do these last two, or we should do them in a specific way or something? Now I understand why you want us to join you. Because it's almost too late. Sheena, a summoner. Ewan, are you with Crucius, or are you with the Renegades? I am with Crucius, and I am also the leader of the Renegades. Where is Renegades' allegiance lie? A double agent. In other words, a traitor. For whom? <laughs> so, what's your decision? Okay. Lloyd. You're going to trust him? Yeah. He's revealed the fact that he is a traitor. He's putting himself on the line. That has to mean something. I'll try Probably means more to you than him, but... <laughs> you were headed towards Rhode Isle's ranch, correct? You sure know a lot about what we're doing. You have a spy watching us or something? No kidding. But either way, we have to stop that mana cannon thing before it's completed. We also have a debt to pay back to Rhode Isle. The ranch and mana cannon system should be interlinked. Disabling the control ah, oh, that's good. first priority. You seem to know quite a lot about them. We have a reason to infiltrate Rodile's ranch as well. well I've seen they're all ro over, basically. We can guide you to the entrance if you like. It would be better than just guessing. <laughs> We're teaming up, right? Of course. Please take us there. Well, why are you going to the ranch? We need to make preparations to fire mana at the Great Sea. Oh, are you going to use their cannon? But hang on, why why the shit? Right, right, okay, so before they just, they, they were like, the easiest plan here is just to kill Colette so that Martell doesn't have a vessel. But now that they're seeing, they've seen our capabilities and that we're about to uh, break the monolinks, they're like, we can we can take the actual optimal solution, which is to revive the tree. All right, okay, you know what, I buy that. I Fair enough, I buy that. The Riyar dimensional transfer system will be offline while we make our preparations. It's been offline forever, so no worries. Until after we infiltrate the ranch if you want to get back to Tetheala. Got it. Talk to Boda when you're ready. I'll leave the rest to you, Boda. Understood. 
Oh man, you guys are all. <laughs> I, I I was I was confident in our allegiance way back when we first met you, and then you immediately betrayed that trust, and I never trusted again. And now I'm sort of ready to trust, only because there's logic behind why you would suddenly approach us. Fair, fine. Are you ready? Yeah, we're good to go. Then follow me. Actually, I probably should have stayed it in, but whatever. There'll be a save point in here, no doubt. Another infiltration mission. We're oh my god, we got all the way over to the island really quickly. <laughs> we have work to do on the matter reactor in here. If you head straight, it should connect to the ranch. Head straight? We're on an island. Gotcha. Ah, uh, and one more thing. It seems you've destroyed every ranch you've been to, but we need the monoreactor reactor in order to sprout the great seed. Don't destroy this one. Well, that sounds lame. <laughs> I like blowing those up. Hear that, Rain? It's not like I destroy them for fun, you know. In order to disable the monocannon, we need to get to the control room. My intuition tells me it's probably the room farthest in. So for this place, that would be the top floor. You're amazing, Lloyd! <laughs> yeah, we've been to enough places these places already, so things like that should be pretty obvious. Uh, well then, let's get going and look out for that control room. Yes, let's. Oh my god, oh never mind, we are- oh, holy crap! Oh jeepers, is it underwater? Oh that's sick, and also terrifying, the ocean is a nightmare. Oh god, here we go. Oh, they are just wandering around here. This is uh, got patrols and stuff. All right, uh, check this out. Fire! Everyone knows fire paralyzes people. I can't hit a damn thing. Get out of my way! Out of my way! Out of my way! This is not gonna go well for me. All right, let's see what kind of enemies are there. New ones. We master Bowman Evil Sorcerer. I think we follow these before. Is that right? Maybe not this quite this color scheme, but yeah, they're not too tough. Some decent XP from them, actually. Have we fought these ones? Yeah, they don't appear to have any separate ent entries, so I guess it's fine. Do not have to go scan them all again. Oh, this door is heckin' locked. Man, this this wall is very nudgy, or is it just me? What, has it got bumpers on it like it's Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> all right, that door is closed as well. So wait, uh, are there any doors here that are open, or do we have to take all the guards first, maybe? This should be the last of them. Oof, there we go. That was just warming up. <sighs> Did that do anything for them? <laughs> that actually didn't appear to do much. Or was this door always unlocked? Ah. <laughs> ah, oh dear. Oh, interesting what's going on here. Hmm, I don't claim to understand all- Oh, did I just do something? Oh, okay, apparently that was the lock. I, I don't know what I did. Did I just light all the lights up? I was just about to try and figure out what that puzzle was, and then I accidentally solved it. Cool, 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 good, good, good. Not to worry, not to worry, moving on. Oh, okay, I see. So we're, is, it, is it one of them where you have to, you have to make everything light up? But it blocks you from going back once you've- Ah, uh, okay, it's one of these type of dealios. Okay, so we're gonna be doing something like- uh, Okay. Like this, and then like this, and then like- Oh, this isn't what be quite right. Uh... Because you can't go back. Do I need to reset it? Let's try. Uh, okay, so let's do something more like this, and take the most outside route possible. Until... Uh, yes. We go like here, and then we go down here, and now there's a straight shot of them all being sort of unlit like this to just light up. Booyah! Got it, okay. <sighs> Stop rumbling now, thanks. The, the platform is down. Ah, and you bugger off. <sighs> nice level up. Is that Lloyd up to level 51, maybe? Look at him go. I should make some more of whatever gives us uh, mana. Let's make it with someone who loves using lots of things, like you. Get 52% recovery, oh my god. Yeah, I think everyone's feeling good after that. <laughs> nice tenderloin, genus. Yummers. Ooh, what this? Function of the source thing changed? Ooh, what's this about? There's a strange sound. <clears throat> the machines in this facility resonate with the sound from the sorcerer's ring. I see. So this sound functions as a key for this place. Yeah, that's what I figured too. <laughs> so, meaning like this thing here? Oh. But what does the... Huh. Wait, does it do anything back here before we carry on up that elevator? Like, does maybe op does it open the other doors? This little sound lock? Or sound key, I guess? Ooh, it'll probably be pretty obvious where we are supposed to use it in a minute. No, it didn't do anything. Shucks. Well, I understand why they were kind of trying to steer me away from doing the Aska thing first. Because <laughs> we were about to totally sever all the protection from the seed, which would be bad. Me uh, elevator time. I mean, that is if, if we are to trust you and in Bodor, which at the moment I suppose I do. I always kept feeling like they... It was weird that we they kept trying to take us down. Like, there were so many better ways to oppose Crucius. But then I wasn't sure if he was totally against Crucius at all. Never mind. Can't we go any higher? Hmm, as far as I can tell, this is the only elevator in the ranch. How the hell would you know that? In other words, the designs use this elevator to go higher than this. Which means the solution is simple. What do we do? 
We just have the designs move it for us. In other words, we create a situation in which they have to move it. Right, so like I said, what do we do? Let's create a disturbance. For instance, the captives start a revolt. And then we wait for the designs to move the elevator. That's a sinister plan. Be quiet. Do you think we're in a position to play fair? I do feel a little bit bad for them, but let's do it. So this sonar thing won't do it? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, lucky we're right in front of the captives. Yoink. Stone charm. That prevents you from getting petrified, I guess. Holy staff. Oh, heck. That's wicked. And yoink. Vajra. What be that? A card. With a picture of Vajra. Which is what or whom? I don't know, but it's very, very cool and has a lot of attack power. We're putting it on. We should probably talk to them before just going and opening all the cells, eh? We should be like, hey, this is the plan. <laughs> Please be safe and don't die. Only the designs can operate the elevator. Please let me out. Yes, we are going to do just that. Uh, one, two. Oh, there's a door in here. Wait a minute. Should I be... Oh, no, this is how you get in. Right. Three, four. Prison break. Everyone run. And then let's all hop in the elevators together. I don't know how we're going to... Oh, I see. So this is the only elevator. So we get on that and then they'll just bring them up to us. And so anyone who was trying to board the elevator... Oh, cripes. They came in fast. How did Colette and Lloyd get up there? So you led the escape. Yonk. <laughs> or is this just a ruse to get our outfits? It works, Lloyd. We better hurry to the top floor with the elevator. Yes, that's a great idea. Wait, so it goes up all of a sudden? Oh, okay, the lock's been released, I guess. I thought they were proposing just standing on it for when it goes up to pick them up. Either way, you said this is the top floor? You don't think it goes any higher than that? It looks like a pretty big tower. Oh. What's this about? Does it have something to do with this? <gasps> it sure does. Oh, my God. Oh, I, um, oh, okay, I do it to change course. I see. I can tell which 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 direction to be taking. So for here, I can say, go left. Uh, no, uh, stay left. And I want to go see what this thing does. Oh, it's an elevator. Uh, okay. Uh, hang left. Keep going. I want to see what this thing does. No, go right. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Aye. Ah, oh, I didn't know that would happen. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, no, hang right. And then I'll just hang left in a minute here. Oh, man, I probably missed all kinds of cool treasure. But uh, we're going now, so there's not... Ah, oh, it's not right. <laughs> Okay, so we hang the right here, because that goes to a dead end, which I only noticed right at the last second. And then it's just going to be at a bit of this left action. And that'll do. Actually, there are two here. I guess we don't know which one we want. Uh, we're on this one now, though. Okay, um... Oh, that one doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so we want the one on the, on the far end, then. To the right, to the right, to the right, right, right. Okay, sorry, I don't know if it's clear by watching, but basically I'm, I'm using the Sorcerer's Ring to make the sound, which changes whether I'm turning to the right or the left. Okay, so for here, for instance, let's try left. We guess the only way to know is to go up. Uh, to take it to somewhere. God, this is complex, isn't it? I guess this is... <laughs> you think they would just have a simple elevator like the rest of the dungeon. Okay, so that one's just a dead end. Um, let's try not the leftward one. Just this one. There's not much turning you can manually do once you got up to this level, it seems. This, this is just sort of like the finality of it. So far. Nope, I lied. There's a turn to be made. The long way around so I don't get electrocuted. Oh shit, I just turned right into it. What am I doing? I panicked. But well, that seemed like the right way to go right up until I screwed it up. <laughs> so we want to go to that one again. Uh, so hold, hold, hold. Right, right. Hang right. Back up here. Turn so as not to get electrocuted. And as we're going to the left, hang left so that we don't go up. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, the sentence I just said. And now we're going to go somewhere right, right? Surely if they made us dodge an electric projectile, then they're not going to be like, this is actually the wrong way all, the, all along. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, there's a door here. Perfect. Ah, how much hurt did we get from that? Actually, we're totally fine. Oh, we're all paralyzed. I completely lied. <laughs> I would classify that as an issue. And the little purify won't fix... Although I probably should have waited to see if we were going to have to do that again. So that goes out to another area here. Oh, God, with more puzzles, it looks like. But is this another elevator? Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. Then we have to go here. I was hoping this would be a save point, but, uh, here we go. Oh, I can change colors. Oh, oh okay, if you press A on... No, no, wait. Huh? Oh, okay, I, that's, okay, so a white one doesn't go anywhere. You have to change color before it'll do anything. Okay, gotcha. Level 2 X-Gem, sure. So I want to make a, it a green one, I guess. 
Does it matter which color? Oh, it may matter in a minute. Um. Wait, what? Why does the red one... I thought I would have expected the red one to take us back there. Oh, unless it's a... Hang on, what, how many colors are there? Blue, what does blue do? Oh, okay. Um. Red. Uh, okay, I don't exactly understand how that works. Because there are multiple red ones. And that one took me from red to white. Maybe it, red just means, like, it takes you to an adjacent room or something. And then... Green means you go up or something. Uh, you go to the nearest one of that color or something weird like that. So I want to be, take it to a green one here, I suppose. Okay, I think I'm, I think I understand. Holy cloak, holy staff, cloak. That would be for you, right? Oh no, it would be for uh, Sheena. That's right. No, no, for you. A cloak blessed by a supreme god. Oh, good. <laughs> we just have that now. 46 XP to level 50. Look at you go, Zelos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to go red. It looks like treasure up there. And monster. Not a, not a guard, a monster. Ugh. It's kind of cute. Giant slug, weak to fire. Beaver jelly. <laughs> weak to thunder and ice. Cool. I should make use of those um, quartz things that we've been stockpiling in bosses soon, though. Anytime I find one that's got a elemental weakness, I just throw that stuff out on your weapon. Dark Souls style. Because they don't sell for anything, so it's not like there's... You can hoard these rare items to sell them for a lot of money or anything. As far as I know. Maybe there'll be some store that accepts a special price for them or something. There he goes, Ellis. Real acquired Heaven's Charge. Is that a skill? We haven't had him fight in a while, so I guess I understand that. I've been getting very comfortable with um, Persea's battling skill. Sneak up on the, uh, and blow the enemy away. Oh, cool. And it's a ground attack, so you do that uh, in neutral. Yoink. Uh, Minazuki and... XM of War. Now, Item Pro. In Tales of Zillia, there's something, I forget if it's called Item Pro or, or specifically or something similar, but there's one thing you can get where it's any item you use, the effect gets divided across all your party members. So, which sounds lame because it's an apple gel, it does like 20% of your health, something like that. Now it does five for each person. But the good thing is when you use that on a life bottle, because now one life bottle resurrects your whole party, which is pretty dope. Especially if you use, like, an elixir or something, because then it's everyone gets healed to full, regardless of the div dividing effect. And happiness. I want to know what level 4 ones are for you. I think I'm happy to ditch magical for you. Sp Neutralizer is coming handy, and speed cast is always good. I'm, I'm going to put a level 4 one on you. So item pro decreases the amount of time a uh, character is unable to move after using items. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So it, all it does is lower your the recovery frames on item use. Not bad, but usually we're not going to be having you use items. You're going to be using healing spells, so I guess it's not as helpful for you. Happiness occasionally increases the amount of gold and experience after battles. Ooh. And spell saved uh, decreases casting time of the same spell if the spell is interrupted by an enemy. Okay, cool. These two are good. I'm going to put it on happiness for a bit, just see how we get going with that. Sorry, and what was Minazuki? Oh, a cloak for uh, the preferred robe of, mi of mid-level female ninjas, so... That's gotta be for Lloyd. No, sorry, Sheena. Lowers your evasion a touch um, and raises your defense a bit. Actually, I kind of like the evasion on you. I'll, I'll just keep it the, the evasion, but we'll hang on to that in case we really decided at some point that it's not worth uh, focusing on that. Okay, so what could, one could be over here? I'm gonna guess that there's a blue one over this away. Why can't I change you? Huh. Maybe I can only change you. Oh, no, actually, there's a green thing right here. What am I talking about? Take me right here, and I don't think we were here before. Yes, that's treasure all over this place, heck. XM03, okay, sweet. And there are actually more locks I have to deal with here anyway, so. Lock one disengaged. We've got one and two. I presume they're gonna be three. Let's change it to red and see which one it takes me to. Nope, we can't change you. I lied. Huh. How do I get over to that red one then? So there's a green one here. Can I change you? No. What about you? Ah, it's not close enough. Maybe. Back here. Oh, I didn't do that before? I feel like I, I would have done that somehow. Saffron. Ooh, that's a perma buff. Uh, evasion. Here you go, Ray uh, Sheena. Forgot what your name was for a sec. Sorry. Right, we got that stone charm. Did I, it protects against petrify and heavy. Oh, so if you put that on and then the heavy boots, would that be good? Well, I guess at that point, it would be sort of more trouble than it was worth. So you can go here, and then you can change the color of this one as well, right? So if I make this one red, will it bring me to the right? No, it won't do anything. But there's a red one right here. Huh.
I'm not all the way clear on which ones you... I think it's like mostly if you come out from one, then... Wait a minute, what? I just melt my brain when I try and think about it. <laughs> just forget it and just try every combination. Brute force it if you must. That's the rule of any good tra traveler. Ah, blue takes it somewhere interesting, doesn't it? Actually, I'm level two. Got plenty of those. How do we get up to that one, though? Oh, wait, hang on. This looks weird, doesn't it? This here? Is it a door? Uh, it certainly looks strange and different from the rest of it. Can't change this one's color, so it's not like I could make it red for this one's sake. Whatever. Uh, I suppose one treasure chest we'll, we'll survive without. Oh, no, there's more up here, I see. Maybe this one will have a, a way down or something? Ooh, could be. Mithril Axe! Oh, hot diggity! Oh, <laughs> bad friggin' ass. Let's change you now. Red Bull. Ah, okay, this is how you get down here. Yeah, look at this new axe. Oh, this is dope. Hey, I leveled up from that. Rain discovered a compound EX skill. Ooh, from the thing I just said to her. Do tell. Lucky magic. Occasionally cast magic without consuming TB. Oh, nice. Well, how will we know when uh, um, her thing triggers? I guess it'll say EX skill triggers at the on the little windscreen, won't it? Before when happiness goes. I, I didn't, wasn't uh, paying attention if we got ex any extra there. I think I'd probably it'll be better for when I'm not paying attention. It'll be better for just... Oh, there's a safe spot there. It'd be better for just situations where I'm like... You're just every now and then getting a bit more from it. All right, so we're not really going through any of those doors. This is mostly just this two, 2D section. Okay, so three locks. Okay, that sounded like it works, didn't it? <laughs> Let's set you to blue. I don't think we've tried that yet. Takes us over here, where there's more treasure. Yoink. Mithril Greaves! Now that's for... you, maybe? Oh yeah. Oh, sweet. I love the Mithril always has this, like, silver and red color scheme in this game. It's super dope. Revive Ring? Oh! Now, what would, what do you think would happen if I just gave him two of those? Do you think it would... it would increase the chances? I mean, let's just do it. Why not? <laughs> it, could, it could be very cool. Maybe it does. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. So that brings us back here. Now, could there be any benefit to using, let's say, the green one here? It brings us just to the bottom of the staircase. Now, what about blue? One last remote treasure before the save point? Nah. Very good. Well, but a save point it is. Nah, don't go back in it. Remote Island Human Ranch. This place is really complicated. It's more complex than any ranch we've been in. Seems Rodile is very cautious. Yeah. It sounded like he didn't trust his fellow Grand Cardinals, or even Yggdrasil. There's no telling what we'll face if we stay here too long. Let's hurry. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. God, I keep doing that. I keep expecting it to put me in the middle of it. But it spawns me in front of it, so then I run up into it. Anyway, save point. <laughs> and regrettably, that's where we have to end this one, because... Heckin' Ranch is heckin' big. Or, well, I guess, I guess it is a ranch, isn't it? An underwater covert ranch, but a ranch nonetheless. Although I kind of hoped to uh, find Aska first, just because I was, I was, it's like the first thing, time we were back here since really looking for Aska. <laughs> like, that was that was kind of like one of the last things we were doing here before we got ported to the other world and all. I was like, let's just get back and finish it. But then they were like, go to the ranch. <laughs> and so fair enough. <laughs> we're here at the ranch now, I guess. And next episode of this game, we'll be hopefully getting to the end of it. And maybe this is the end. I don't know. We did do like three different puzzles. There was the thing with the tiles and the thing with the, the turning left and right cars. And now this whole teleporting business. Rule of threes. Only time will tell. The next video up on the channel, though, is going to be some more Omari. Well, last time we did a lot of sort of gathering up of sort of small side quests. And now we're going to get back to do more story stuff. There are like a few little side things that I forgot to do last time that I kind of want to do. Before we uh, carry on with too much more story stuff, but then we'll do story stuff. We should probably get to more story stuff in the next Omori. Hey, anyway, that's all for now, so thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of Tales of Symphonia. It is such a delightful series. And we're getting into the very meaty portion of the game. There's a lot of forward momentum at this point. When you consider we've almost got all the elemental things, almost been to every major area in both worlds. Feels like there's a lot uh, moving. That's all for now, though, so thank you so much for coming around. Hopefully, I will see you around. I'm almost gonna be out of here now. Peace! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Fucker. <laughs> what? How did that go down to get back here?